I woke up today and I felt like playing Ready or Not. So I booted up the game, ran a couple of missions, and it felt, uh, very familiar to the last time I played it. Keep in mind, I haven't played or talked about this game in quite some time. Almost two years, actually. I went to look into the recent development update, and admittedly, I haven't been following the game closely for a while for a multitude of reasons that we'll get to later on in this video, but they showed off some cool videos of a mocap session showing things like explosive reactions, knife attacks, and some new weapon swapping animations. As someone who is managing a small dev team making a tactical shooter, this is dream level stuff. Being able to rent out a studio like this to make custom animations, I thought that was a pretty cool look into their current development. And then I scrolled down to read the almost 300 comments, all of which seem to be bashing the lack of updates and meaningful content and fixes that have come or seemingly not have come to Ready or Not over the past year. And, and like, let me tell you, the salt in this thread was real. But then I looked into when the last big content update was for the game and holy fucking shit. It's been almost a year since Ready or Not has been updated. And I don't mean like development updates or trailers or sale weekends, they're killing it there. I mean like actual Steam build updates to the game. From what I can tell, Ready or Not's last update titled Adam Patch 6 or Adam Hotfix 6 released on January 19th, 2023. This was a small little hotfix for the Adam update that launched on December 8th of 2022. We're in September of 2023. Just in case you aren't aware, nine months without an update, eight months without a patch. What the fuck is going on with Ready or Not? So the last thing I heard about Ready or Not was back in June of this year when they revealed the streamer room, which admittedly hit a little close to home environment wise. Some people in my chat at the time also thought the character kind of looked like me. Regardless, apparently this is the map that will be coming with 1.0 out of early access release, which is set to happen by the end of the year. The community is taking the over under on whether or not that's actually gonna happen. But regardless, what we know is back in May, there was a post detailing the restructuring of Void Interactive. In regards to the reorganization, Void had this to say. Under the watchful eye of our new producer, our development team are charged with a new direction to target milestones across our roadmap to launch, specifically better methods that enable us to refine how we manage our builds, bug triage, and predictable development cycles. The timing of these new internal processes have aided the team during their explosive growth, with new talent onboarding monthly, more external studios assisting in specialist areas that open us up to new opportunities and features within our game, which we cannot wait to share with you all soon. As we build our confidence up with these new lines of communication and development cycles, our team's capabilities are growing, and we will be very proud to share some of the behind the scenes of our efforts very soon. So it sounds like they expanded heavily at the tail end of 2022 and into 2023 and are now managing that growth or at the very least trying to. What that means for actual work is that they're working on quite a few levels, both new and refurbished. As you all know, they're working on the map Coyote, a map based on border crossing drug tunnels, as well as refurbishing the station and dealership entirely. At the same time, other poorer performing maps are being tweaked under the hood to fix some of their performance issues. Finally, on the note of maps, yes, we are still making the school, though we're taking great lengths to present it as conscientiously as possible. However, it has been given the more appropriate name of Campus and will be released alongside other unannounced maps in the future. Also, to my surprise, PvP is 100% confirmed to be returning, however, it will not be coming back until after 1.0, as we wish to produce a much more cohesive co-op experience before reintroducing it to the game. The exact form it will take is still not set in stone, but we may take some inspiration from some of the other decisions made very recently by some of our peers in the tactical shooter space. Keep in mind, these are all their words, they're not mine. Now, I understand that game dev isn't linear. You run into issues, you squash said issues, timelines get pushed, schedules conflict, and things get messy. I knew that before, but in going down this game dev rabbit hole, I found a much better appreciation for game devs that stick by their products. With that said though, I'm struggling to find an excuse for not putting out a single update in nine months, especially for a game in active development. The reason I struggle to find an excuse is because there isn't one. 
Outside of you completely overhauling and cleaning up every system from the AI and their bullshit tracking and behaviors to the player controller itself, to the audio, to just everything. Which, don't get me wrong, is a bunch of good things to do, especially leading up to a 1.0 launch, right? The problem with waiting this long to do anything meaningful, at least in the public eye, is your player's expectations go up the longer you stay silent. The expectation that the 1.0 update brings is very top-heavy, you better bring your A game because people have been patiently waiting for almost a year at this point. And that's the general sentiment that I'm getting when I look at the community hubs and I look at all the posts and what people are saying. Every time you guys update, it's not really an update. It's a kind of a behind the scenes look, but they're waiting for something to come to fruition publicly, a public build. Let them play something. It's funny, this is very reminiscent of the conversations we had about Void Interactive in the very early days. Radio Silence is a killer, and don't get me wrong, they are keeping you guys in the loop with everything that they're doing, it's just not manifesting itself for the people who paid to support the game and get said updates when there's no actual physical updates. You guys may have noticed that I stopped covering games like Ready or Not, Ground Branch, Zero Hour. I stopped covering them because I, a couple of years ago, I just got tired. I got tired of covering incremental updates that bring a new map, we play the new map, we see the new map, and then I, I just ended up shelving the game for a while. And after, after so many years of just doing incremental coverage of tactical shooters, I just got tired of it. Ready or not, would drop an update with a couple of weapons, a new map, I would play it on stream, I would make a video. Well, guys, look at this update, crazy. And then, I, like, I just feel like I wouldn't touch the game again until the next update. And I feel like a lot of people play Ready or Not the same way. And the problem now is that it's been nine fucking months. So the people who might want to play Ready or Not, but have played every single map, and after playing every single map, they might have gone on and done all of the mod maps that you can get on Nexus. Like, we have extracted as much enjoyment out of the game as humanly possible. The thing is, is this isn't just a Ready or Not issue. This is an early access issue. People are so desperate for the next update. It's like we're just spinning the hamster wheel that we're on in the fucking mud. Just, we're just going in circles doing the same thing. The problem is, is once you get off that and you go into a nine month hiatus like Void Interactive is doing, people really take notice. Their community hype, at least what I see on the Steam community hub and the comments under these posts, it's at an all time low. And I'm just hoping that with this 1.0 update, whenever the fuck it does come out, I hope that it satisfies these players enough so that all of this hard work that they are doing, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to negate all the work that these devs are doing. I know they're working behind the scenes. I know they're trying to crush it. But the problem is, is those goddamn expectations. And I get it. I, I can't fault anybody here. It's just that sometimes game dev sucks. And when you go through an explosive growth period like they are, it sometimes might be a little tough to manage. I'm trying to put myself in their shoes. Managing the project we're doing is overwhelming at times. I can't even imagine onboarding new devs on a monthly basis and trying to get everybody up to speed and working in tandem. Sometimes that shit doesn't work out and we have seen multiple games covered on this channel in the past, games like Dead Matter. We've seen this shit happen, where you bring in talent and what you think is gonna be a well-oiled machine turns out to be something completely different. And I'm hoping that's not what's going on here. I'm itching to get some new content for the game, and I'm hoping that whenever this 1.0 update comes out, you guys will be happy. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you still playing Ready or Not? Are you still interested in the game? Or have you shelved it like I have, just kind of waiting for the next update. Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. A dislike if you didn't. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.